If I choose three tips to becoming a better skateboarder, perseverance would be one. Practice is the other, um, you know, the tenet of skateboarding. And don't care what you are doing. Forget your opinions of others. Um, do what feels comfortable for you. And I would, I would say if I have to choose three, those would be three. How does skating benefit you? Um, in a myriad of ways. It has broadened my horizon. Skateboarding has, 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 skateboarding has taken me to um, a variety of places uh, within this hemisphere, hopefully within the next hemisphere, the, the, the eastern hemisphere as well, sometime. I may mean, have met like, you know, a lot of people, um, I've been immersed in you know, a whole host of, of cultures, learned a lot of things about you know, and the places that I've been to, um, for example, Venezuela, Barbados, um, meeting other skaters from other regions that I have not been to, like um, my friend Alonso from Spain, um, my friend Stefan Pullman from Germany as well. Um, so that's one physically, well the most obvious ones would be, you know, like the benefit to the body physically. Um, it keeps you physically fit, increases endurance. There are no coaches or rules um, in skateboarding. Basically, um, you learn by rote or by practice. It's a very prag pragmatic um, activity. Nobody teaches you to skate. Uh, you basically do the research yourself. You know, you ask those around you, your peers, for tips and pointers when necessary. But sometimes, um, via observation, you'll be able to to learn a trick or so. Let's look at the way in which someone does it. Um, Another thing to mention too is that every trick is different um, for everyone. Foot positioning is different for everybody. So even if someone tells you what to do exactly, you still have to. Um, there'll be slight modifications, to, you know, foot position and timing, etc. So you still have to get out there and do it yourself. Um, in connection to the first point I made about you know meeting new individuals, it also breaks down a lot of barriers, a lot of social barriers, um, religion, race, ethnicity. Once somebody rises aboard, you consider them your brother. You know, it has, teach, it has taught me it has um, transcended just the, bounds, the boundaries of being a physical activity. I've also participated in a couple editions of um, an annual competition held by Movement, a collaboration between Movement Skate Team and I1 Skateboards in Barbados. Um, they usually have a a summer competition every year. Um, I participated in that for maybe about three years, in the past five years or so. Last year I was not um, in the competition, so I helped them judge that competition. One personal accomplishment I must mention, this is to me like outside of, I mean, schooling and whatnot would be for my parents and you know society and whatnot. But a personal accomplishment of mine within skateboarding, um, my friend Luke Shepard was born with a congenital malformation of his heart and he needed funds um, to go towards or at least revenue to go towards the surgery. And I had this idea and you know, I was pretty scared at that age to try it but it actually worked. Um, I did a design and I printed some t-shirts that um, would be available for sale. Uh, to try to at least generate some some revenue for him to do his surgery and it actually was a success so seeing my friend you know successfully go through surgery and completing the landing on today he's back on his board skating as, as normal um, that is for me personally my greatest accomplishment Uriah Buzz Butler, Russell Latterby, Terry Gilliam, um, Rutherford, Charles Dickens, Nikola Tesla, um, Mac, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, uh, Andrew Reynolds, Bastian Salabans, those would be skateboarders, all local skateboarders and BMXers, um, Keegan Alves, Kestrel Root 9, um, Jeremy Duqua, Frank. Uh, Sean, Ross Dant, uh, Chris Dennis, Che Loveless. Uh, what do I do to make my adrenaline pump? Uh, 
Well, recently I've started, as mentioned previously, you know, I got involved a bit in martial arts. Um, I surf, I suck at surfing, but you know, sometimes that's kids living their lives out of me too. Um, I ride motocross bikes from time to time. Uh, being scared in general is, you know, kind of beneficial. And I enjoy sometimes that feeling, like it's, it's a love-hate relationship, it's a kind of mixed emotional reaction to, to danger. Um, so that's what makes my blood pump. Some of my top competitors will be, I uh, must make special mention to Martin Clark out of Barbados, his um, reputation truly precedes him. He is considered to be, in my opinion, a legend within skateboarding. Uh, so Martin Clark, uh, all Pauls involved in skateboarding in Barbados. If your name is Paul and you're from Barbados, most likely you can skate, even if you don't skate right now. Matthew Stoudmire, Justin the Volatile from Trinidad, Alonso, R.S. Tegui, Javier Roa, uh, Stefan Pullman, Jeremy Ducroix, Chris Loom, Adiel Batson, uh, Michael Elcock, we just can go on and on. Um, Alan Armour. Well, I didn't compete against him, but you know, he's a top competitor with me. Yeah. And I must make special mention to Dominic Elias, although we never competed directly against each other. Uh, that's who I grew up skateboarding with. Uh, his influence and his competitive nature basically brought the best out of me, so I would, off the record, I would say Dominic Elias too.